Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode number 13 of the 120 Days to Jump Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In the previous episode, we were able to look at Gas Behaviors, Boys, and Charles Law. From Boys Law, we saw that PV is constant. From Charles Law, we saw that V over T is equals constant. Today, we shall be solving questions under boys and child laws. Look at this. This question says, a fifth mass of gas has a volume of volume V of 92 cm cube at 3 degrees Celsius. Temperature is equal 3 degrees Celsius. What will be the volume at 18 degrees Celsius? What will be the volume? It means we already have volume. Let's take it to be first volume. We have temperature. Let's take it to be first temperature. Now, what will be the volume? It means there is another volume we should look for. And this volume is when temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. So let's take it to be the second temperature. If the pressure remains constant, ladies and gentlemen, anytime you are told that pressure remains constant, we are dealing with Charles' laws. And when we are comparing volume and temperature, we are obviously dealing with Charles' laws. These are things you should know to be able to be successful in gas law calculation. Anytime you are calculating or you are solving under gas law, your temperature can never be in degrees Celsius. You must not solve under or you must not solve with degrees. If you are given temperatures in degrees, convert to Kelvin. How do you convert? So the temperature in degrees, temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273. So add the 273 to the temperatures in degrees anytime, anywhere. And two, the volume of gas at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 dmq. This is standard volume. So long the gas is at standard temperature and at standard pressure, the volume it occupies is 22.4 dmq. And what is standard temperature? You use 273 Kelvin. What is standard pressure? It's 180 m or 760 millimeter of mercury. These are variables you must use. More later. Since we have this from Charles Law, we know that volume over temperature is constant. So the V1 over T1 is constant. Similarly, V2 over T2 is also constant. Since this is constant and this is constant, it therefore means that V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2, since they are both equal to the same thing. If I say, John looks like Joy, John looks like Joy, and Joy looks like Luke, it simply means that John looks like Luke. That is what you are implying there. If this and this is constant, this and this is constant, it means this and this, they look alike, which is deductive reasoning. From here, V1 is 92 cm. 92 cm cube over t1 is a crime to solve in degrees 
So to convert to Kelvin, you say 3 degrees plus 273. That is 276 Kelvin. So this is equals, we are looking for the second volume. The second temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. 18 degrees Celsius plus 273. So plus 273. Always convert temperature from degree Celsius to Kelvin. If you solve with degrees, you may get C and answer the option. That doesn't mean you are correct. So temperature must be in Kelvin anytime you are given. From here, when you cross multiply, 92 Kelvin, 92 times 291 is equals V2 times 276. So V2 will simply be 92 times 291 over 276. So if that makes sense, you should get 97.0 cm cube as seen in option C. So that is how to answer this question. This question says, the ratio of initial to final pressure of a given mass of gas is 1 ratio 1.5. 1 ratio 1.5. Ratio is the same thing as division. That is 1 over 1.5. The ratio of the initial to final pressure of a given mass of gas. It means this is equals P1 over P2. Since the initial pressure is P1 and final pressure is P2. The ratio of the initial to the final pressure of a given mass of gas is 1 ratio 1.5. This means that the initial pressure is 1 and final pressure is 2. Calculate the final volume of the gas. Final volume, which means second volume, V2, is what you are asked to calculate. If the initial volume was 300 cm squared, volume is equal to 300 cm squared. At the same temperature that means the initial volume is this temperature is constant calculate the final volume of the gas if the initial volume is 300 cm cube at the same temperature so anytime you hear at the same temperature or temperature remains constant or so long the temperature doesn't change that is simply Boyle's law and from Boyle's law p 1 V1 is equals P2 V2. P1 is 1, 1. So since they are in ratio, we don't care about their unit because ratio is comparing the same unit. So they are both in the same unit. Since they are both in the same unit, we are good to go. 1 times V1, 30, 300 rather, which is 300 cm cube. 300 cm cube. Is equals P2 1.5 times V2. V2 is equals 1 times 300 over 1.5. That is your second volume. That should give you 200 cm cube. Making option A the correct option. That is how we both. That's how we know. The volume of a given gas is V cm cube at P millimeter mercury. So, volume is equals VCM cube. V1, P1 is equals P. So, V1 is equals VCM cube. P1 is equals P millimeter mercury. What is the new volume? V2 is question of the gas if pressure is reduced to half. So, P2 is half of P1 and P1 is P so P2 is simply half of P at constant temperature at constant temperature so pressure and volume at constant temperature speaks of Boyle's law so P1 V1 is equals P2 V2 P1 is P V1 is V this is equals P2 is P1 P over 2 times V2 that is what you are looking for. From here, 2 times PV over P is equals V2. P cancels P. So 2V 
equals VA2. So two times V. Option B is correct. The new volume is 2V cm cube. If 30 cm cube of a gas at 50 degrees Celsius is warmed to 80 degrees Celsius, that means volume is 30 centimeter cube of a gas at 50 degrees Celsius at temperature 50 degrees Celsius is warmed. Let us warm this gas for breakfast and it's warm to 80 degrees Celsius. So from this to that, it means this is the initial and this is the final. T2 is equals 80 degrees Celsius. At a fixed pressure, at a fixed pressure, fixed pressure. So when pressure is constant, it means you are dealing with charge law. Anytime you are asked for fractional increase in volume, it is V2 minus V1 over V1. This is fractional increase in volume. This question requires us to look for V2. And if you are able to get V2, of course, V2 minus V1 over V1 is not a problem to us at all. And from Charles law, V1 over T1 is equals V2 over T2. We need to convert the temperatures to Kelvin. 50 plus 273 is 323 Kelvin. Kelvin. 50. Yes, 32 Kelvin. Then this is plus. That is 353 Kelvin. 353 Kelvin, that is T2. Substituting 30 over T1, 3, 2, 3, is equals V2 over T2, 3, 5, 3. V2, or the second volume, is 30 times 3, 5, 3, over 3, 2, 3. Now, if we are asked to look for the new volume, or if we are asked, what would the volume be? The volume would have been 32.8 cm cube. So this is the normal questions that they always ask us. But this time around, we are going further to fractional increase in volume. You simply say that the V2, 32.8, minus V1, 30, over V1, 30. This is fractional increase in volume. And that is 0.09. So from all we've been seeing since, you discover that here yeah, temperature increased and what happened? Volume increased. If temperature increased in Charles law and you solve the volume you are getting is less than the initial volume at increased temperature, then you are wrong. And for boys, as pressure increases, volume should reduce. If the second volume is more than the first volume, therefore the second pressure should be lesser than the first pressure. That is inverse relationship. So this brings us to the end of this episode and I trust you can put up questions on that boys and Charles Law. Check your flash and jump app, solve boys and Charles Law questions. If you have issues, reach out to me. This is very, very serious. You need to take your exams very, very serious.